everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the research methodology series in this video we are going to see what are different stages your paper went through in IEEE journal so I'm gonna give you an example from the real world I have uh, I submitted three articles in recent times and they are at different stages right now and different journals so I will be showing you uh, what are the stages from which they go through okay so usually uh, IEEE journals are being handled by uh, by this website okay so at the last uh, last characters the last character in the URL specifies which particular journal submission portal it is okay so usually I probably scholar one websites handles the submission process so if you come here I log in into my account so this is an IEEE's journal an impact factor one named uh, transaction on human machine systems I submitted my paper few uh, a few days ago so uh, here is the paper if you log in and come into the authors um, tab you will see your submission okay this is the first time I submitted this journal so you will see just one submitted manuscript okay so there are other tabs that will also appear if you have experience of submitting or publishing with some journal before I will show that as well so you come here you will see your submission okay I will uh, make another video in which I will go through the step-by-step -step process of showing you uh, the steps uh, which you will do to make a submission but in this video I'm assuming that you have already submitted the paper and you are new to this field and you don't know what are the different stages from which your paper go through okay so here this is the status uh, being written here okay if you see under review with a capital R this means that your paper is currently with the editor so what happens is when you submit a journal it goes to the editor he or she reviews the journal and when if they believe that this has some capacity or this is up to this passes some criteria the quality is good then they send it to people for review okay so you basically the reviewers are not being paid for the review process that's a volunteer work and editors don't want to send them the paper which is not up to the mark first they review the paper themselves if you find the word under review with a capital R that means this is currently with editor in different publishers like in elsewhere they use the term with editor in case of IEEE this is not very clear okay so if you see this capital R that means your paper is with editor if the term under with a smaller r is written here that means that the initial screening process is completed and your paper is now sent to the potential reviewers for reviewing it and that's a good symbol because uh, uh, because the initial screening has been completed that means your paper is up to the mark editor really believes that it should be considered for review process and later on for publication moving towards the other stages I go to another journal, uh, Sense Letters, one of my favorite journals. I used to submit papers here, I used to review for them as well. Uh, a very nice journal. Why I'm saying very nice and why I like it very much is that this is one of the journals which take hardly a month to review your, pro your journal. In fact, I have an experience of publishing a paper and it took less than a month, right? around 28 days. So that is very good for a journal. Um, and in my experience, IEEE is usually very good uh, with the response time and then publishing and doing the further processes. So here you see that the status is awaiting reviewer score. Okay, so this have gone through around three stages already. In the very beginning, it was under review. So and the word under with capital R was written there. Then it went to the second stage, which I cannot show you right now because uh, it have been through that that was assigning AE waiting for AE assignment so waiting for AE assignment means that the editor-in-chief had seen through the paper he or she believes that this paper is good now he or she is going to assign that paper to an associate editor who will then handle the further process okay who will then search the reviewers and gonna contact them and then going to 
uh, look into the results which they gave from that. So all that process is going to be handled by the associated data. But the good thing is that this has gone through the chief editor who has clear tick marked it that this is up to the mark. Okay. So I don't try sharing my uh, titles with you which are not published. It's okay. It's okay with me. It's my work. I'm okay with that. Okay. So that two stages were completed. Now it is at the third stage which means awaiting reviewer score. Sorry, it's at the fourth stage. Previous to this stage, there was a stage, I don't remember the exact uh, keyword, but it says something like searching potential reviewers. Okay, so the concept was, it went through, I submitted the paper, it went to the editor-in-chief. That person read the paper, believed that this is up to the mark, then he associated to his associate. Then that person searched the relevant reviewers in the field and send invitations to them. Once they accept the invitation, this is the fourth stage uh, where those people are now currently reviewing the paper. Right? So it says you awaiting the viewer score means once the reviewers uh, details will be received by the editor, then editor would be going through the results and then making a decision. I show that stage as well. Okay. So this is currently at like the second last or third last stage. Moving towards another journal, again IEEE, I'm a big fan of IEEE because I experienced that IEEE is very good with saving your time in publication. This is the last paper I have uh, recently submitted. So this is like the second last stage. Are you uh, Now I mentioned in the uh, previous, in the beginning of the video that there would be some extra tabs here if you have already submitted or have published some work in some journal. So it says awaiting decision so this means that the paper was reviewed by the editor in chief uh, sorry chief editor then assigned to the associate editor that person searched the potential reviewers those reviewers reviewed the result uh, the paper and now their feedback is given to the to the journal now currently that feedback is received by the journal and the associate editor is going through is in the process of going through those uh, feedbacks or you may say the review now at this stage if a data would believe that this according to uh, the reviews that this paper is okay for the publication according to the reviewers feedback received from the from the reviewer he or she is going to make a decision so the final decision is not made by the reviewers it's made by the editors okay so usually this actually happened with me as well uh, uh, once we submitted a paper it went through the review we received a review two of the reviewers were okay with the paper the third one said rejected it. it's not up to the mark so it was up to the editor to make a decision and he actually accepted it right so this happens now it's currently in like a second last stage okay now what can happen next the associate editor who was given the task to to coordinate with the reviewers and find get the feedback is now gonna make a decision it can be accept it can be reject or it can be reject and resubmit okay so reject means we are not interested thank you very much for your time thank you very much for your article please resubmit it to some somewhere else although you will be receiving the feedback from the reviewer uh, in any of these cases you will be receiving the feedback that's feedback is for the improvement of your article so second is reject and resubmit. So what reject and resubmit means is that, okay, we believe that this is up to the mark, but there are some improvements we want you to do. And in the, the best case, the most optimum one, when they say everything is okay, we are publishing it. And even if they publish it, they are going to ask you to make minor modifications before publication. Okay. And my experience, uh, uh, usually, uh, even if the journal likes, your paper they still ask you to make some minor or major modifications so usually my none of my paper went through directly it always went through reject and resubmit and we make the modifications and then they say okay now it's okay then by the way at that stage they send the paper back to the reviewers potentially the same reviewers like i remember uh, so basically ieee is uh, a single blinded uh, publisher single blinded means by the way not in the case of conference in the case of journals so that means that you don't know who is going to review your paper, but that person knows you. Okay. 
so once i when we we resubmitted the journal after the minor modifications the reviewer one of the reviewers said i'm satisfied or oh, he the authors made all the modifications i requested them to make uh, go ahead publish it okay so that means that that showed that the paper was sent back to the same reviewer but that is not pos uh, always possible because it is very much possible that uh, uh, the reviewer is uh, at that stage is not available right so that the data has to search a new reviewer as well okay I also remember I was I reviewed the uh, paper for IEEE sensor letters. Uh, they sent me the paper. I reviewed it. I put it into the category of reject and resubmit. Okay, that I I could only made the suggestion that the final decision was up to the editor. And I mentioned some um, some experiments to be conducted, and I mentioned some improvements. Uh, I received the same paper from the journal after around two months for the review and i found like all the things were done by them and i also made a similar comment that i'm okay with it publish it so so that shows that 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 usually editors resend the paper to the same person okay so one should take those feedback very seriously and should do what they ask you to do if you believe that that thing cannot be done then you should mention that in the report in a very polite why? Because uh, editors give your time, their time to you, and they don't get anything for that. All they get is the satisfaction that we are contributing in the field. Okay, so that is it for this video. Uh, sorry about the delay, and uh, I would be more than happy if you give me the feedback. How can I improve my videos? Take care. See you in the next video.